came here to see an iMac get unboxed, and I came here to unbox an iMac. The brand new 24-inch M1 iMac is here. It's in the building. I'm actually getting set up to shoot it right now. Let me show you the setup, then we'll get into unboxing this brand new, beautiful iMac. We got one angle right here, another angle right here, and of course, the trusted overhead. I'm about to pull in the box right now. I'm gonna unbox it with you guys, fresh off the cuff, you know what I mean? I'm gonna share my initial impressions and my experience and just my thoughts with you guys. Let's get into the video. All right, we got two things from Apple, you know what I'm saying? We got that trusted brand new Apple TV right here. We will be doing a video on this, cause this is dope. All right, you guys, I'm about to put this up on the table and let's unbox it. Boom. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> As you guys can see, this is a pretty big box, baby. Um, and it's about to go down. So I want you guys to get the experience with me. Gotta get the unboxing sounds, baby. Woo! No one showed the brown box. Everyone just came with the white box. Woo! Look at that. Let's get this out the way. Y'all see it. <laughs> Big box, you guys, this is a, a pretty nice size box. I won't even lie, like the box is pretty massive, but I mean, this is a bigger computer. It's not the 21 inch and so forth. This is 24 inches, which is a nice improvement. You know, especially when it comes to display, you know, pretty much for me, you know, bigger is always better. I, I like big displays. So keep that trend up, Apple. All right. Look at that, that color just looks so good. So as you guys can see, I did go with the yellow. And the reason why I went with yellow because I saw those hints of gold and I wanted that gold. I love gold. You guys can see I wear a lot of gold. Uh, I just like the color gold. Man, y'all gotta give it to Apple on this box design. I know people gonna be like, oh, you just being an Apple sheep. That's only the haters. The ones who know, know. This is good design because literally this is like a carrying case. They know that this is gonna be a computer that you wanna move around and put in different spots. Well, if you wanna move it around safely or transport it or use it to go to the office and all that stuff, you have a carrying box, which is nice. Travel, all of those good things. So let's get this out of here. Ah, wow. Like you guys, come on, man. Like when have we ever seen a full-on computer this small, like an all-in-one. No crazy big base, nothing. It's just straight all in this super thin build. This is super dope. This is revolutionary for the computing industry. This is like next level. Like this is why this is exciting. This is why the M1 is super dope because it's changing the way that we compute. Ooh, let's get into those accessories. See man, the gold is everything. Got the gold keyboard. Let's get that. The gold accessories, man. Now there is a lot of white in this whole iMac build and so forth. Y'all know Apple, they whole uh, product get down. They tend to use a lot of white. So, you know, the longevity of that is to be tested. It's on and popping. Got the color coded USB-C to lightning. So you can charge your keyboard and mouse if you chose to go with the mouse. Power cable, color coded, got the goldish yellow tint to it. And if you opted for a mouse or a trackpad or if you opted for both, I went trackpad. Personally, <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Magic Mouse. I have one, I actually have one of the ones that are uh, discontinued now, the, uh, what do you call it? Space Gray, so I have the Space Gray Magic Mouse and Space Gray keyboard that came with my iMac Pro. But preferably, I'm a Logitech MX Master 3 mouse user all day, especially for editing and stuff. I'll, I'll show you guys that more later because we're gonna be talking about editing and things like that. So this has the white front covering on this trackpad. I mean, it looks like it's covered with like a plastic or glass on it. And then white bottom, but the gold accents, the gold. The gold is the key, man. Wide trackpad over the Magic Mouse. Magic Mouse number one. I mean, if it's not explainable to have to charge it from the bottom, absolutely ridiculous. I refuse to use a mouse that works that way because if you're in the middle of a job and you need to charge your device, 
you totally rendered useless of a mouse. So I opted for the trackpad. I had the original trackpad that took the AA batteries on my original iMac, which I probably might show you guys in this video. Have to go uh, scoop up some coverage, but I still own my original first ever purchase iMac to this day. I'm a fan of the iMac. The iMac was my first Apple computer. So that's why I'm excited about this iMac redesign because the design has had a small redesign from the original iMac I had, which was a lot beefier. It was more of the uh, squared off rectangular shape. You know what, matter of fact, for purposes of this video, let me go grab it. All right, for purposes of the video, I did not wipe it off yet, so if it's looking a little dusty and whatnot, but I had to dig it out of the closet. This is my original iMac that I've ever owned. As you can see, it's a lot thicker. Um, this boy is dirty. Whew, hold up. First ever iMac. This is just like a water and alcohol blend. Now I got my microfiber cloth. Oh my goodness. The microfiber cloth just scoops up all of the dirt. Ew. Yeah, but this thing is years upon years old. Um, and for me, I would probably never get rid of this because it's more than nostalgia. I know it's like memorabilia for me, but this is what I started on. This is what got me into the Apple ecosystem. This is why I'm even on an iPhone. It's because of this computer right here. And this got me started, helped me grow in the music industry when I was doing audio engineering. Just a good point of life and evolution for me. So uh, I don't know what model or what year. I would have to do some research, but uh, this is my original iMac right here. As you guys, look at this. We've come from this right here. This is revolutionary to this. You guys, look at that comparison. Wow, this is, this is, this is nice. Actually, let me see if we could do a side by side. It's like about half. Yeah, it's like half the size that it used to be on this thicker boom. Hey, here's another fun fact. Like this design layout isn't new to Apple. Like it's still the same flat edge design. Um, like the iMac is still looking like the iMac, <laughs> needless to say, but. All right, so let's experience, let's see what this bezel and everything looks like in person, in real life. So we unhook here, that flaps down. And then you pull this off and you guys know the front still says, hello. <laughs> Apple always hitting you with the hello. <laughs> All right, this is my favorite part right here. That is the rear of these iMacs. They look so good from the back. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it just is what it is. Think in the back, whew. That gold right there, baby. So let's see what this gold really looking like. I wanna see this gold. That gold, baby, whew. Oh yeah. Find me another all-in-one that looked this good. I'm just keeping it a buck. This thing looks phenomenal. The gold on here. Like, look, really would be a nice eyepiece in a room. And I think that's what we gotta come to the conclusion with these iMacs. They're made to be eyepieces, like for real. They're made to be, you walk in the room and you like, yo, you look at that. Your eye goes straight to the iMac. And then next thing you know, you helping sell more iMac because someone saw how dope it looked in your setting and now they want one because this is absolutely fire. So let's go ahead and do the infamous. Boom. All right. There's the white bezel. The white bezel. Let me give me a second to digest it and take it all in, you know. You know, white bezel, okay. Computer just sitting there. Let's stage it up a little bit. Let's just see what it would look like, you know? We got that, bam, bam. You know, the white bezel is different. It's not what we're typically used to because most monitors have a black bezel, you know? So it's something to definitely get used to. It's definitely different and definitely stands out. You can see the bezel, <laughs> you know? It's not like blending in. So that's one of my main first impressions about this whole white bezel look. I think it's more of a marketing thing with Apple having that white bezel, but I did see people do renders with the uh, IMAX, like as if they were to have the black bezel. I mean, 
hey, I'll take the black bezel. Actually, I'll take like super bezel-less, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll take the most least amount of bezel as we can get. And yes, me personally, as someone who has been using IMAX for a long time, I would have liked to see them finally uh, get the chin as a part of the redesign. Now it could possibly come in the pro models and it could get a little thicker, you know what I mean? A little thick in the back and then we get just a bezel-less, but I don't know. The chin is synonymous with Apple's marketing of how you know that's an iMac, even without the Apple logo. So I can understand Apple's standpoint as to keeping the chin. <laughs> is it necessary? That is the question. Okay, so my next move is to, let's go ahead and power this thing up. I'll get it set up and things like that. And then I'll speak about how it is once you power it up and use it and things like that. And then we'll see what this Touch ID is. We'll get that set up and stuff like that. But here's my first initial impressions of it from a visual standpoint, from the unboxing experience. Number one, the design of the new box is really dope. I like the reusability of it and the fact that you can use it to help travel with your machine. That's top notch, especially for those people who wanna travel and take IMAX with them when they go do you know, press conferences and things like that and they just wanna be able to edit as they would at home on the road. Super convenient. Uh, the look, I love the colors selection. I like Apple even offering up the colors. Even though I love the boldness more than I like the muted front, it, I still like the fact that this yellow has like the yellow with the gold combo type of thing. And the same with the other colors. A lot of the colors look dope and appeasing to the eye. Now the front with the bezel, I have to wait until I get into this thing and I use it. So I'm gonna be giving you guys my initial uh, impressions from use coming up real soon. And then I'll give you guys a first impressions from a user standpoint. But as of right now, just looking at it visually, as I said, the white bezel is there, you notice it. I have to see how it sits with me over time. Let me put it to use. Let's go ahead and stress test this. Let's see if it can do better than what my Mac mini did. So this is the M1, it's the second tier build with 16 gigs of RAM. Anyways, about to get into this thing, but I got another thing to unbox. Let's get into that. Let's set that video up. Peace, y'all. That's on me, ayy. Any day could have been dead. High school price on my head. Paranoid line in my bed. Pray to God they don't turn my shirt cherry. Ray. I was lost, didn't know me. Ended doing myself to codeine. Six months was a dope fiend. Philly didn't even know things. There was a low me. Swear to God, it would've owed me. Anything you ever told me. Anything you ever showed me. I forgot it. Cause me drama. 